Hello, welcome back to For the Love of Crochet. I'm Caroline and today I have for you quite a few finished objects and one works in progress. Grab your hooks and let's get inspired for the love of crochet. So for those finished projects, I told you that in my last video I had quite a few requests for bunnies. So I got busy and got crocheting and I love it. Now here I have my little Easter basket. And for the first one, I had this yarn in I Love This Yarn, and it has this, um, had a knot in that. I hate when that happens, when there's a knot in the yarn. Um, but it has these little speckles of color in it. And this is that pattern that I showed you last podcast, which is the three in one by Katie Dids. This is the bunny pattern. Um, I did not, you can shape the face, but I chose just to barely shape it. I never put a mouth. I instead did a nose with the safety nose. So this is my first one. And then I wanted to try and use, incorporate more colors. So I did a second one and she got a little smaller. <laughs> so I have no idea. Same hook, same yarn, of course. The only thing different is I tried to incorporate color here and I color on the tail and on the feet and the tips here of the arms. So um, she came out just a little bit smaller. And I think that's so weird. Um, so yeah, there is my second one. I used a safety nose and safety eyes for this one as well, black ones. I tried to shape the face a little more with that one. Okay, so here we have those two. And I kept going. And the third one I made was with a five weight yarn. So the I Love This Yarn Speckled is a four weight. This one is a five weight and this one had a slight transition in color and I wanted to see how it played out. All this stuff and stuck. Okay, and then this one I tried to use brown, the brown knot, um, tips and brown bottoms and ears. And then I didn't know what color to use for the bow so I chose green. I didn't do as much shaping with the face on this one. Again, I uh, here I tried to stitch a nose and then used a safety eyes. So yeah, this is the five. And next to this one, which was my smallest, came out significant, a little bit bigger, quite bigger. So here's the brown mauve. I don't know what, what yarn this was. I bought it a long time ago. So I have that one. Then I tried to use up that yarn that I had left over from that Boho Bomb Baby Blanket. We're going to talk about this for the rest of the year. And I used the colors that I was using for the, col um, the flowers or the um, popcorn stitch, the bobble stitch. So I put it in her body and in her ears and I used white bows because I was using so many colors I felt like I should change it to white. And this one I stitched her nose as well and I didn't do too much shaping on the face again. And I didn't do the the, le the arms or legs on this one. So on all of these bunnies I used a 4.25 hook which I couldn't find in my Clover Amour hooks, but I did have it in my metal hooks, the, those metal hooks that everyone has that are your standard. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. I, 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 I really like this one. I, I, and I do have more of this yarn, so I may try and get some more and uh, make some more of these because I have a few more ben bennies to make, but no pressure. So yeah, this is, I, can, I don't remember the yarn, but it was, 
want to, I couldn't tell you. I think it was that basic stitch. And then this was the I Love This Yarn with Speckles. Um, it is called Drizzle Me This. So, and the, 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 the yarn itself is so light pink. It's just a touch of pink. It's not really white or cream. It is a touch of pink and then all the speckles. It was, it's really pretty. I like it. So I may be doing some more bunnies with those colors because I feel like they come out so Eastery and pretty and bright spring like. Um, I did make that bunny in, <laughs> in, <laughs> in the, um, what is this, blanket yarn? But I mean, if, you could definitely turn this into Groot if he was green, right? Just give him a different top here and he could be Groot. Uh, so I, I had run out of yarn and I went to go get some more. It did not match right, but there's nothing I can do. I guess I have to match the lot number. I'm not one to keep my label. So this is what I'm stuck with. <laughs> And so I have yet to make the ears. I'm going to make the ears in the same color because I really couldn't find, I, I don't know what color to put on it. And so I was just going to stick with the same gray because I have a couple of boys who want a bunny and I thought maybe they would appreciate a not so pastel -y colored bunny. Uh, so yeah, this is it and he's pretty big. I did make one complete in Parfait Chunky, Parf oh, God, I forget the name of it, Parfait Chunky Yarn and it was lavender and it was so beautiful, but somebody bought it and so I gave it away before I could take a picture of it. And so I'll have to insert a picture here. Okay, so since I um, since I completed that one, the Parfait Chunky one, and it came out so beautiful in a lavender color, I saw when I went to go get the gray yarn, these were on sale for $5.99, I believe, at Joann's. And so this one has a sparkle to it. I don't think you can pick it up, but it has the same color sparkle as the color of the yarn. It's so pretty. I wonder if you can see it. Lighting. Oh, you can barely see it. Anyway, so I have this and I, since I wanted to make sure it wasn't all one color, I picked this color up to go with it to give it some coloring either in its body or ears or his foot pads. Um, so yeah, I got these two because they were only $5.99. And then I got these two as well. Now this one doesn't have the sparkle. I wish it did but they are nice springy bright colors. So I do like that. And so I may make a couple more, um, I should say one in this color and one in that color. Uh, so soon, soon. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that three in one pattern by Katie Dids and it's an Etsy pattern. I believe she is, um, she's still selling that item and I just wanted to show you this is the three in one so you can make a unicorn. Somebody made Scooby-Doo using the unicorn pattern. Of course, they didn't put the, the horn or the hair. All they used were the ears and the, the nose, the snout, the, the, the head pattern. Of course, the body is the same on all of them, but they use this in all brown and they made a Scooby-Doo out of it. So you can definitely turn this into something else. That was really cool. 
And then just a reminder, you can make the little girl and the rabbit out of that. Now, I got a ton of orders for the Pusheen cat that I made last video. So I will be making this in several colors in an upcoming video. And also, I wanted to share with you, um, my yarn stash is not going down. It is going up by epic proportions because I've been blessed with tons of yarn. And this wasn't the only bag. I had another box and another bag. <laughs> my yarn stash just keeps growing. So I need to get busy on some yarn stashing, yarn bust stashing patterns, but um, definitely in the next video, I have coming up a idea for you to get free patterns that maybe you haven't thought of. So keep an eye out for that later this week. And in my next crochet podcast, I shall share with you more spring patterns, crochet patterns, but not bunnies. I'm really excited because um, a couple of patterns I have are going to be spring-like and they're just, I'm tired of bunnies. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to crocheting these spring patterns and they are super simple and easy and I think you'll like them. So keep an eye out. Hit that notification bell. See you next time. Bye.